Welcome back, you gorgeous and beautiful people from the internet. My name is Monza Games, and today we're gonna continue on with our series Fortnite PvE or Fortnite Save the World. Today, a lot of people are asking me, How are you playing with other people? How can you get other people to play with? Um, unfortunately, if you don't know anyone, it's very hard to actually do missions to solo missions, especially if your knowledge about the game is pretty low. So I'm going to show you guys today how to find people to play with. Now if you go to your whatever area that you want to go, like whatever area, next to your Storm Shield Defense, there is a question mark that is called Play With Others. Um, if you click on it and select, you can actually select qu a Quest Progression. Normally if you select this, you're going to play solo again, so I highly suggest not taking this one. But however, there is something called Quick Play and there is something called Custom. Now, I don't know why mine is only set to 100, which is like so weird. Um, but if you click on quick play here, it's going to find any mission between whatever to whatever. For me, it's 76 to 100 because my power level is decently high enough. So I can see all the missions that is in Twine Peaks. If I click launch right now, we're going to play one of these games that we see right here on this map. Um, but we're going to play with other people. So it could be one other guy. It could be three others. Um... As long as there's one spot for you open, you will join. So we find a game here. It seems that we are playing with decently low level player and then a, a okayish level player. So if you click on launch right now, it's going to show you what the mission is. It's fight category three storm. So there's going to be three categories we got to defend. Um, and we don't know what modifiers there is, nothing like that. So it only shows play with others. You don't know what is stronger. You have You have no idea what's happening in this game. That's the only downfall. But the upfall that you get in this game is the fact that you get 20% rewarded. So you get 20% more commander experience and you get 20% more, um, what's it called? Objective rewards. So it is way more beneficial for you to actually do this, um, not just uh, for you to actually you play with other people, but also sometimes you just can't grind because your missions, um, you can't do them, you know, it's too hard to solo, it's too hard, this guy really wants a, 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 a llama dude, thank you. This guy really wanted a llama, dude. Wasted all his ammo here. <laughs> I don't mind. I'll take what I need. Okay. So, that's how we do it. We're just gonna do some encampments here. I also need to... Also need to get a few pure drops of rain. Let's use my bear here. Oh, nice. The targets are relocated. That's good. Very good, very good. So yeah, that's pretty much how you play with other people. You get rewarded for it. It's pretty awesome. Guys, also there's other thing I realized. I wanted to make a video about this tomorrow, but I think it might be too late. So I'm going to tell you guys right now what it is, okay? The game is 20% uh, uh, is 50% off. So instead of $40, it's going to be um, twenty dollars. So if you do have twenty dollars laying around, dude, and you want this game, get it right now because it's half price. Okay. I bought this game also on half price, and it was worth every single dollar. I mean, this is like seven, eight months later, and I'm still, I'm still playing the game, dude. Highly suggested, please. If you do have twenty dollars laying around, get the game right now. Trust me, you will not, you will not be crying about twenty dollars later, dude. Okay, so with that being said, guys, let's just continue on with this game right here. We need a few blue glow still. Let's see if there's like a blue glow siphon that we can do. There's one just chilling right here. Let's see over here. There must be a blue glow siphon somewhere. Oh, 
Also guys, it is very important that you should know that uh, once you go to objectives, you can see what is happening this game. So you go to inventory, click on objectives, click on active modifiers to see when you play with others, like is there something you need to know about this game? Like are uh, metal structures going to be destroyed or do, do the zombies explode? Because those things is very much needed to know. If you don't know them and it just happens randomly, it's going to hurt you way more than it should. Okay, so just keep that in mind, guys. It's very important to know the modifiers. If you play on lower level, it's not that much needed. Um, because there's pretty much never modifiers. But if you're in Twine Peaks, every single, every single game has a modifier. And you need to know what what is happening every single game. Okay? Also, a lot of guys don't know how to build this antenna mission right here. It is very easy and straightforward. All you gotta do, you see this where it is, like you gotta go all the way up to build that thing right there. All you gotta do is build this weird wiggle stairway that I just made. What? He's not dead? The weird wiggle stairway that I just made, so you make a normal stairs. Normal stairs, you edit it like this. And you go one tile away from it. Doesn't matter which way, okay? One tile away from it. Can the zombies stop coming right now? And then you just keep on building this until you get there. Boom, dude. Always hit the spot. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. You'll never miss, dude, if you just do this. That's it. Let's get out of here. Can I get my reward, please? A lot of random traps. I don't want that. Okay, so we got two blue glow. They already entered one, so we can just insert this one. I'm running out of little ammo. Give me the quartz. Okay, so another tip that I have for you guys in category... Oh, let's see. Okay, try to. If there's one in the air, what you gotta do is you build these platform right here. You build normal walls, but you make them like this. You build them like this. They won't attack the wall at all. They will just leave it. So the only thing that can, damage, can do damage to the objective itself is if this floor gets destroyed, sometimes... Um, Smashers will just charge and they'll charge through this whole base um, Other times uh, the only thing that will do damage to it is flingers and I saw the guy build a little roof there So he knows that flingers will do damage to it. I Don't really want to build with brick because I'm pretty much low on brick dude um, But they're building everything with brick which sucks But it's okay, whatever. It's not a big deal. Let's see here. Let me just grab the spheres. Good to have. Which one helped me just now? I got another llama, dude. Loose llama ready for beat down. There you go. Okay, so if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. So if you play constructor like he is, you look what he did here. He built this like little platform on the all the way to the other other area. So what you do is you just uh, you you just build like this thing and uh, you you try and put this um, uh, defender whatever it's called of his um, on a decently spot that's in between both. And then you get the overpowered structures on both areas. It is very much needed if you if you want to get the mass amount of effect out of it. Uh, because the structures it does get this thing on is shield. So th it will last longer. It will do... Um, and it also has effects. Like, I don't know what effects he has. 
Maybe it has stuff like uh, when zombies die on the platform, it will get a charge fragment. And once the charge fragment is like 20 or 30 or whatever, it will actually explode. Um, so yeah, it, it, it is nice and important and stuff like that to have things like this. Okay, so... You want traps, dude? Or lights? I think we're ready, dude. Come on. This is low level. I can do this. Activating in five seconds. Let's grab some ammo. So if you guys don't also don't know, they nerfed the turrets. The turrets doesn't do that much damage anymore. Which really sucks. Not a big fan of that. I have like a little damage room here. Okay. And they should not even get close to our base, dude. I mean, my traps right here is gonna do tons of damage. Oh, they just walk over. That's not good. Um, hello, can you shoot? Okay, that just happened. I feel very bad for that just happened, dude. <laughs> That hacksaw though. I also have a hacksaw now, guys. I made a nice little hacksaw for me to have an energy weapon. Maybe this guy needs help. Storm direction is changing. Okay, so now they're coming from this side. Let me take care of theirs. Also, guys, just one one thing that I want to say is that uh, if you do enjoy Risen Evil games, come hang on my on my Twitch channel. We are playing a lot of Risen Evil recently. Look how slow the smasher is, dude. Lol. I will destroy you. You will not be able to handle me. Yeah, right. Okay, turret time, dude. Oopsie. Was my turret a bit overkill there? I don't think it was. That's good. So as long as your turret gets value, like, no harm, no foul, dude. And what I mean by value, as long as the turret shoots every single time it can shoot. Like, right now I don't want to waste- I don't want to waste my gun at all. Because this turret's gonna do a lot of damage. Don't know how. Hey, they walk on this little ledge here, and I disapprove of this, dude. Uh, uh. I don't want them to walk there. Oh my goodness, the direction's changing. Oops.
Okay, it's still the same spot. That's good. Freaks. Super freaks. Super freaks. No, the majority doesn't spawn this side now. Oh, there's a lot of flingers though. The guys don't know how to handle flingers, you use a sword, dude. Or any melee weapon. They are resistant to physical damage. So if your weapon is also a ranged weapon, is physical damage? Feel free, bro. Feel free to uh, go sla go hit him with the normal weapon. I think it's still better to use a melee weapon, though, because it's way more physical. Way more physical damage. But wait, there's more. It also seems that they upgraded the uh, teleportation, though. Um, so you have three teleports instead of two. Is that a boss? Just marking him for the for my team. Is nature? Let's get it. And his fear. I don't want this. Oh, okay. Okay, my turrets should handle everything there. It might be, it might have been overkill, I don't know. Hopefully not. I don't wanna take damage, dude. And you're dead. Yeah, the turrets is way nerfed, guys. I don't know if you guys noticed. It does the same amount of damage, but uh, it it has twice less attack speed. So they nerfed the turrets really, really, really hard at the moment. Also, it feels that um, outdowns is nerfed badly. Um, I don't know if you guys seen this. There's like a new shielded enemy that you get now in the game. It has this humongous like circle shield, the sphere shield around him. If if that thing is there, then my bear just doesn't attack at all, dude. It's the weirdest thing ever. We better not have a tower of trouble. Turret done. Jobs, dude. 30 seconds left to go. Find the flinger. So yeah, hidden like this hidden stuff that they nerf and buff things is very bad. Because no one knew that their bear is not gonna attack the shielded enemies. So and it defends everything inside the shielded uh the shielded area. Until the bear is inside of it, so I don't know, man. In my opinion, Outlanders just keep getting nerfed. Not cool, man. Not cool, man. Three Atlas victory, baby. There we go. There was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit that bell button if you have already. Stay tuned every time we live stream or upload to the channel. With that being said, guys, I will see you beautiful people again. Next time, love you and take care. Bye, have a great time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So believe in yourself, hard work pays off, that's a model that's fell Run the sun and pulling up, it's ain't nobody pull me under Live it like we play it, put the swag in the name We can't be tame, it's Monsie Games yeah.